First, download Alt Server from the link below. You must copy the Alt Server app file into the inside of the Applications folder. Otherwise, it won't have the necessary permissions to do everything it needs to do. Then, launch the Alt Server app, and you'll find it up here at the top of your menu bar. Once you've done that, connect your iPad or your iPhone or your iOS device to your computer. And if you're on Catalina, open up the Finder window and you should see your device. If you're running Mojave or earlier, open up iTunes like you're used to. Now, if like me, you didn't see your device by default, open Finder Preferences and enable CDs, DVDs, and iOS devices in the sidebar, and your device should appear. From here, make sure you click Trust Device on both your Mac and your iOS device if it prompts you to do so. Then click Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. That will allow Alt Server to communicate with our iPad over the wireless network. Once that's been done, click Alt Server uh, up in your menu bar and click Install Alt Store. And uh, well, you're almost done, but not quite. Now you're going to need your Apple ID and password, but why? Well, Apple allows developers to install apps that they've quote unquote built or compiled themselves onto their own devices for testing. And so we're going to send our Apple ID and password to Apple to get an install certificate so we can put third party apps on our device. Alt Store never sees these credentials and their app is open source so you can check the code for yourself. After we do that, Alt Server will prompt us to install the Mail plugin. Now this is only necessary on Mac OS but it is required to spoof app signing. So quit the Mail app if it's running in the background and enter your password to grant Alt Server permission to install the plugin. If that dialog box went away, you can also find it in the Alt Server menu by clicking Install Mail plugin. Then open Mail, Preferences, Manage Plugins, and enable altplugin.mail bundle. Click Apply and restart Mail. Now, with Mail open, go to Alt Server and install Alt Store, select your device, and finally, you're done. On Windows, it's quite a bit easier. Download the latest version of iTunes and iCloud directly from Apple, not from the Microsoft Store. And then download Alt Server for Windows using the link below. Extract the .zip archive that Alt Server downloads in and click the setup.exe installer and follow the basic installation instruction. You guys know how to do that. After that, you'll be able to find Alt Server as an icon in the notification area and just launch it. Plug in your iOS device, open iTunes, click Trust on your PC and iOS device if prompted, and then enable iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. Once that's done, click the Alt Server icon and click Install Alt Store and then you just choose your device. Now, like on Mac OS, you are going to need to insert your Apple ID and password. Okay, the hard part is done. Alt Store is installed.